three ways to filter that nasty, nasty water out in the backcountry, and we're gonna go over each one really quick. The first one and the easiest one, and probably if you're a new backpacker, the one that you thought about first, water filtration. There are tons of different brands doing this. You've got the Platypus Quick Draw, you've got the Sawyer Squeeze, the Life Straw Peak Replacement Filter, which is the one that's on this bottle right now. Each one will have a little bit of a different flow and different warranty situations. So just do your research, find the one that works best for you. Most folks are gonna have a liter bottle or a bladder. Really doesn't make a difference, it's totally up to you. So on my trips, I'm gonna be using a liter bottle and I'm gonna be filtering that into a smaller bottle I can keep on my shoulder strap with a flip top, easy access. How many people just left to go pee right now? Option two, boiling your water. If you're gonna be out for an overnight or maybe three or five, chances are you're gonna need to boil some water at some point for your food. And if the first option of water filtration fails or your filtration system freezes or breaks or you lose it, you can boil your water as long as you have enough gas to keep you going. Should we turn this on? There might be some ASMR folks listening so let's turn this on for them okay don't tell my landlord option number three is you have some purifying tablets there's a few different brands that make these this is the Catadine. Some of them will process a liter of water in 30 minutes. The tablets that come from Catadine will process a liter of water in four hours. These tablets are super, super intense. Like there's all, there's a huge list of warnings about how this can eat your eyes and skin. So be very, very careful with this stuff. Now, four hours is a long time to process a liter of water, and you're obviously not gonna wanna keep that as a choice number one or two. This is supposed to be a backup if options one and options two fail. If you're having to wait four hours for water, if you're having to wait 30 minutes for water, that may not be in time if you are in a dire situation. Now, would it be overkill to back yourself up with a little bit of each option. And there's actually one really good reason you should bring all three options with you. So primarily you're gonna be getting your clean water through a filtration system. If this does break, if it does freeze, if it does get lost, you can back up to boiling water. If you run out of fuel, like we talked about, you can switch over to the tablets. This is gonna be a painful process, but it will get you through the trip. Now let's say that none of these options fail on you. Your filter is working fine, you've back flushed it, you've kept it clean, you've got plenty of gas with you, maybe you have an extra canister, or you're with a group of people that have extra canisters and extra filtration systems, and you have some tablets stashed in your pack somewhere, but you come across a group or a person that has had all three of these fail, or maybe they didn't prepare as much as you did, and they only have one or two options, and both of those have failed. You now are able to kind of pick the right solution that's right for that person, whether they're heading back in town or whether they'd like to continue on the hike. You guys can discuss which option option may be best to give to them so that they can safely get back to their car or get back to camp or continue on the hike if that's what they choose to do. If the backpacker is in trouble and they have plenty of fuel with them, you may want to consider giving them a strip of these. They can boil and process a couple cups of water. They can get their food. They can have water and process another couple liters overnight. My recommendation for these though is do your research, pick the right ones that make sense for you, some that kill everything, some that don't. And before you go on a trip, check the expiration date on these. These brand new will last you about five years. So check the expiration date, make sure you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching.